going guys? I've got uh, Holly and Alo out today. They're two of uh, my boarded dogs and we're out for a morning walk. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about a backup collar. Um, so it's not a collar that makes the dog back up. <laughs> backup collar. So basically uh, these two ladies are uh, on prong collars. They're doing well. They got a lot of drive and they need the prong collars uh, you know, to keep them in check while they're on the walk. They, they wouldn't respond to a martingale. It would mean nothing to them. And they're doing really well on these prong collars. Um, so, when boarded dogs come in to stay with us, if they're on a prong collar, I use a backup collar. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so basically I've just got a flat collar that I put on the dogs, and the flat collars I use have a, a steel clasp to them. And these clasps, even if one side gets pressed, they won't open up, so they have to be open on both sides. So these are, these are pretty high-end uh, flat collar that I use. And then I use a carabiner. So I've got these little locking carabiners here. So you can see it's got a little slide lock on it. And when I slide this thing down like that, the carabiner can't open up. When I open up that little slide, then I've got a carabiner again. So what I do is I basically take where you'd hook your leash up to, and I put this little carabiner through it like this. All right, come here, sweetie. Let's get your other collar on here. All right, come here, sweetie. Let's see if we can get you on the camera. Okay, so I'll see if I can arrange the camera here. There, so you guys can see a little bit better. So basically, I take their prong, and on a prong collar, you've got your D-ring. Oh, there we go. So you got your D-ring. This is the swivel ring where you should be attaching your leash. And then you've got an O-ring. And the O-ring is just sort of the dead ring that's underneath. So all I do is I take my collar with my veiner on it and I clip it through this O-ring and then I lock it. Okay? So now, if you guys can see, watch your heads. I've got my backup collar here hooked to the O-ring. Now, the prong collar Prong collar can still work as normal. Let's see. All right, so prong collar still works just as normal, but now I've got this little setup here. Now, the reason why might I want to do this? Well, don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but I'm sure you have. If you've got a prong collar, sometimes the dog will shake their head to the point where, poof, it just opens up and the prong collar is off. But now, as you can see, even if my prong collar was to pop off for some reason, a link was weak or something happened, not a big deal. I've got this backup collar. So even if that was to happen, at least I still have a collar on the dog. And then that gives me a moment to go ahead and come in and reset and get my prong back on. If that's never happened to you, either you haven't worked with enough dogs yet, <laughs> or maybe you just don't have a dog that's a head shaker, but I've seen it happen probably a dozen times now uh, where prong collars just pop off. Uh, it happened to me once with a boarded dog where the prong collar popped off and I had no backup collar and the dog was loose. Luckily they listened to me and they came. But it was from that moment on that I said I can't have this happen again because what if that collar popped off and the dog didn't listen to me and poof, off they went, right? So anyway, that's it. That's a backup collar. Hopefully that helps uh, give you a little bit of advice on what to do if you're running a prong collar or, or any sort of collar that you're suspicious of. If you have a heavy puller and you're afraid that the collar is going to pop open or something, then put a backup collar, run a carabiner, then you got no worries. It's like redundancy. That's what we need. Keep everybody safe. All right, guys. See you later.